Welcome everybody, my name is Altamar and we are going to be beginning a let's play of Divine Divinity. This is a game I have never played before, it was requested, so we're going to try it out. Um, I'm only going to do one, maybe two videos a day, and they're going to be relatively short compared to some of the other series. They're going to be 20 minutes long, and the only reason I'm doing that is I've never actually played this game before, and since it is sort of an older game, I'm hoping that people will chime in and let me know if I've missed things, and I can go back and get them before I go too far ahead of them. Um, it took a hell of a lot of work to get this game up and running, so hopefully it manages to stay that way, otherwise I'll lose my mind a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to start out here. I've already picked the class I want to play, so I'm just going to kind of show you them really quickly, and then we'll go. So it may look like there are six classes in the game, but there are not. There are in fact three. There's just a male and female version of each, so uh, survivors, warriors, and mages. We are going to be playing a survivor, that's who I've decided, and we're going to listen to his intro and we'll name him and then we'll get going on our adventure. I'm a bad boy, but you have to be to survive on the streets. To live in the gutter, a lad has to learn to cut corners, and on occasion, cut other people's purse strings. These days, the law only serves the rich, so I help myself. That's right, we're going to be a lawless knave, not named hero, we're going to name him. Well, Tamar, of course. We have 50 Vitality, 40 Magic, 10 Strength, 15 Agility, 10 Intelligence, and 10 Constitution. We also have Traitor's Tongue, which I don't know what it does because I can't click on it, and Assassin's Kiss, also something I have no idea what it does. We'll play by ear. Now you will notice that uh, you can't see the very bottom of the screen, that's just going to be how it is. There's, I, it's the, it's what I could make work. So the only thing you're missing on the bottom is my health, which is obviously going to suck for you guys, my mana, which is also going to suck a little bit, and then uh, just a bunch of buttons, ones for skills, open statistics, main menu, uh, a stamina bar, combat mode, show equipment, and open inventory. I will try and fix this so that you guys can see the bottom in the next couple videos, but for now I just needed to make this game work, and it's working, so that's all I care about. Um, destroyed sandals are the thing on the ground. We're going to pick them up. Uh, if we go inventory and B, I is inventory and B is basically character, I guess. Um, we can see that we have equipped them. They're on our feet. So that's good stuff. And there's a push and a minor healing. We're going to grab that. Go into... Th oh, there's a treasure chest. With 25 whole gold pieces. Yes, we are rich as hell. Um, uh, contains nothing, 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 nothing. Alright, oh, there's, whoa, whoa. Oh, I almost missed a knife. Grabbed our first knife. If we hit C, I believe, it's combat. Yeah, so we can see we have a knife in our hand now. Don't know how to attack anything yet. So, that's going to be something we're going to figure out. There's another dagger here, a broken dirk. Let's take a quick peek at our weapon selection. Uh, so this one's 5 to 16, recuperation time 5. This one's 4 to 12, recuperation time 5. So that one is just clearly a better weapon. If you just click on it, we equipped it. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Close all those things, and we're just going to move on. There's a chest here which contains nothing. And a book. Herbal medicine refers to the use of any plants, seeds, berries, roots, leaves, bark, or flowers utilized for medicinal purposes. Using herbs is an ideal way to cooperate with our own innate healing power. Herbs may also, of course, be used to flavor food. The elves use, use herbs and, or to produce aromatic oils for soap and fragrances which are much in demand by human and dwarven aristocrats. Good stuff. There is another book. The northern section of the land of Rivalon is dominated by four key localities. The Dukedom of Verdistus, the Shadow Haunted Dark Forest, and the legendary Dwarven Halls. One, two... Oh, the Dukedom of Feral and the populous town of Verdistus. I can read, really I can. The capital of Feral is Rivertown, set amidst a pretty network of villages and farming communities. The chief export of Feral is farm produce, as the Dugal Fields are among the most bountiful in Rivalon. Duke Feral resides with his family at Stormfist Castle, an ancient fortress originally raised by the corrupt sect of wizards who later became known as the Damned. The Feral family drove the Dark Mages from Stormfist centuries ago and have done much to rebuild and renovate the building. But I bet they don't have Wi-Fi. Further to the north, 
lies Virtistis, a wealthy city that is technically under Duke Farrell's rule, but with a town council that has developed a reasonable degree of autonomy. Virtistis is well known for its impressive guild houses and decorous mansions of its noble families. Having developed rapidly from a simple crossroads village, the rest of the text seems to be cut off. That's a dumb book. Get the rest of the book next time. A manuscript. The Exciting Tales of Rothbarg the Barbarian. Part 1. Rothbarg was a mighty barbarian who rode a magnificent white stallion. It is said that he hailed from a small tribe in the grasslands, but no one can say in certainty. Rothbarg's companion was a sturdy dwarf named Emar, who used to be a skilled blacksmith in Glenboris. One day, Rothbarg decided it was about time he should slay a dragon to prove his manhood and magnificence, together with Ekmar, sorry, Ekmar, not Emar. Uh, he ventured to the cave, wherein lay a huge weirm. The ensuing battle was hard, and at one moment it looked as if Rothbarg would be the worm's next meal. However, together with Ekmar and his dauntless will, which it is said he inherited from his father, he slew the foul beast and took one of its giant horns as proof of his mighty deed. Sounds like a fan fiction. A little bit. So, ah, my oh. friend. You're awake at last. How are you feeling? Uh, who are you? How did I get here? My name is Joram. I'm one of the healers here. As to how you got here, well, it's an odd tale. Three days ago, while I was searching for some herbs on the edge of the forest, a small white cat drew my attention. I mean, it actually seemed to want me to go with it. I followed it cautiously, and literally stumbled over your unconscious body. I immediately brought you back here. It was lucky for you that cat was watching out for your interests a little longer, and you'd have been food for the cat. You literally stumbled over my body, so you were walking. You didn't notice my giant form on the ground, and you just stubbed your toe on me? That is not cool, man. Watch where you're going. My thanks for saving my life, such as it is. I am in your debt, friend. You're welcome. And don't be glum, whatever your problems are. If I hadn't found you when I did, with the help of good fortune and a cat, you'd be stone dead by now. We healers have a saying. As long as you've breath, you've reason to be happy. What is this place? You're in my house in Alaroth, a small community of healers. In normal times, this place would be bustling with activity, but things have been rather quiet due to the recent troubles. What are these troubles you were talking about? You mean apart from the orc bandits infesting the woods and the fact that we've lost contact with the source? Well, our leader, Mardanius by name, seems to have gone, how should I put it? Well, uh, he seems to have gone as crazy as a loon. Mardanius is crazy? Yes, that's the only way to put it. He's constantly raving about dark chambers and evil spirits, and he thinks everybody is a servant of the dark powers. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he's been possessed by a demon. Of course, uh, that can't be true. Nobody has gone down with possession in, in centuries. Dark chambers, evil spirits, well that does sound like demon in his head alright. Look, why don't I repay my debt to you by putting the old boy out of his misery? I don't follow you. <laughs> Good gods, you want to kill Mardanius? Aye, look, you said yourself he's possessed by a demon. You know that such filth has to be destroyed or can spread. You must be either a savage from the backwoods or, or a simpleton. This is the modern day, not the ages of darkness. Well, take care then. Uh, before you go, I couldn't carry your belongings with me when I brought you here. Feel free to take anything you find necessary from my house. I already did. We healers believe in sharing what we have with the needy. Oh, huh. I was going to do that anyway. I see. As you are in my debt, I'll feel free to speak my mind. <laughs> Learn better manners. No. If you want to get anywhere in this world. You were very lucky that I found and healed you. Many would have simply slit your throat and robbed your corpse. Good day to you. I trust we won't meet again. Well, we'll see about that. Whatever. I don't need your help, old man. I don't know why I was on the ground corpsey, but that's not my problem anymore. Whoa. Mardanius, my poor old friend. 
what are you doing outside? Good I, question. Oh, 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 it's you, Lanilor. I, I was... Oh, he will come. The end is upon us. Shelloy, you're raving, Mardanius. You must take more rest. Come, let me take you home. But Nemesis is near. We must be vigilant. We must be pure. We must um, behave. Oh, what did you say, Lanilo? Rest? Oh, yes, I could try to sleep. If only the voice in my head would be silent. Sounds like demons spawn to me. Time to go kill him. We gotta put him out of his misery. That's probably not what we were supposed to do. Oh, I lost my cool exploration of town. I could see everything. All right, uh, there's a sign. It says, "Beware, dangerous dwarf to the north." Signed, Lanalor. Sounds like a challenge to me. So walking around is just clicking, which is pretty self-evident. Uh, contains nothing. Empty washing tub and a worn rake. It's technically a staff, but it sucks. So let's not grab that. I'm taking this plant. No, I'm not taking the plant. There's a door. Let's go in the door. Alright. Uh, hello? Oh, the game for- oh, there we go, okay. Oh, right, if I hit alt and don't move or whatever, don't issue a command, we stop moving. Cooking recipes 2, chicken with fennel. When the chicken is suitably fried, add a quantity of water to your own liking. Then take fennel, parsley, and almonds and chop them well and true. Mix them with the stock from the chicken and set to boiling everything. After boiling, pass them all through a sieve sieve, yeah, and add them to the chicken. This meal, with its subtle flavor of fennel and green sauce, is a most remarkable delight to the tongue. Good stuff, man. Alright, uh, let's... that's an elven chair. Let's go see what this is. Uh, manuscript number... no, this is different. Cryonka tea from the dark forest for migraines, headaches, and nervous disorders. Two Kirin leaves for dryny leaves. Uh, almond syrup to taste, and half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Sounds like witchcraft to me. Manuscript number two. Cooking recipes number five. Strawberry pie. Take some fresh milk from your local farm and mix it along with cream, wine, saffron, and other spices, and bring everything to the boil. Beat egg yolks and honey together and pour into the cream mixture. Place cut strawberries and in baked pie shells and pour cream mixture over fruits. Bake everything for approximately 40 minutes. There's an elven cupboard with two things in it, a chair and a finished meal. I'm not able to use that. Probably not, it's a finished meal. Uh, so there's a bow, cool, and some dwarven ale. Excellent, we found some alcohol. We're good to go. There's an elven cupboard. There's several elven cupboards. Broken quilt armor. We're gonna grab that. Oh, look, it shows it on my character. We're gonna grab grab some heavy leather boots. A worn spoon. Yes, that sounds like an excellent weapon. And uh oh, a storm scythe. That's a that's a pretty big weapon. We can't use it, but that's okay. New leather gloves. We'll grab that as well. Oh, hit the button again. Contains nothing, contains nothing. We're not gonna sleep in the bed, we don't really have a need to. We're at full life, we're also at full stick. Is there a button for running? Ah, oh, there we go, R is run. I figured there would be, I just couldn't figure out what it was for a second there. Aha, here we go. More Danius, my friend. Did you drink the herbal tea I prepared for you? Oh, look! Here they come! Oh, big arm, foul creatures! Oh, dear me. Come, Mardanius, I'll feed you the medicine myself. He's oh, a raving lunatic. destruction! What? Oh, oh. You! Oh, Thelion Hashnitar, the Lord of Decay! Oh, be gone, foul demon! No, no, it's me, Lanilor! Oh, come, let me make you some more of that hot tea. I will not drink your foul brew, Thelion! Do you really think you can fool me? <laughs> Taste my power! No, Mardanius, no! I am Lanilor! What? Did you just get turned into a statue? 
Oh, stranger, please rescue me from this icy prison. It's getting too cold to bear. Hmm, I don't know. In a few hours, you'll be a nice ice sculpture. What are you saying? Go to Mardanius, I beg you. Convince him to unfreeze me. My feet are burning with the cold. That sounds like a lot of work, but okay. The door well, is locked. He locked his door. What do you want me to do? I'm not some sort of door wizard. How to make the most of honey. Part 1. Chapter 1. The Sweat of the Gods. I think it was Xerxa the Imp who described honey as the sweat of the gods, and she was absolutely right. Because the golden colored honey is not only very tasty, it has other effects granted by the divine powers themselves, which increase a personal a person's natural abilities. Some of the script is actually a little bit garbled on my screen. It is common knowledge that the honey is made by the bees, so the first thing you will need for producing your very own honey is beehives. This much is plain, but as we continue to explore the fascinating world of honey production, we will come across many strange and wonderful facts. For example, did you know that the flavor of your honey as well as its quality will vary from season to season, depending on what variety of flowers are in bloom? Planting suitable flowers near your hives will... Dot, dot, dot. And now we have subscribed to Bee Facts. Let's not do anything with the beehive. Did that dude die? Oh no, he's there. Okay. It's a honey rack. I want it. I can't. I can't take it. Well, I don't know what to do with this dude because his door is locked, and uh, not seeing a way in quite yet. I'm gonna get to that though. Maybe there's a key around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm not seeing one though. Uh, hey guy. There we go. I can find no way into Mardanius' house. Tell me what to do. There must be another way in. Perhaps you can get in via a cellar? There's an entrance to the, the well. Hmm, still feeling frosty, are you? Well, don't worry, Elf. You'll probably thaw out coming summer. Damn you, piggish human. I will take my leave of you now, Elf. Maybe you'll warm up of your own accord. Try doing a little dance, no? Oh well, don't say I didn't try to help. I'm such an asshole. My character is... We're gonna play the biggest of assholes. Contains nothing. There's a door here. Which I apparently clicked on by accident. Ah, oh, Bronski. Cool. Don't know what it's for. Hey, come back here. I don't know how to do things. 50 experience for killing a rat? Hey, come here, rat. Gotta snag as much experience as I can. A barrel with one item inside. Might as well take a look. It is an apple. Excellent. Nothing in uh, maybe there's something in that wooden box. Let's check it. No. We can throw things. Oh wait, can I throw things? Oh, I can totally throw things. This is kinda like Divine Divinity or not Divine Divinity. Divinity Original Sin. I think it's the same war I'm actually hundred percent sure it's the same world. I don't need to think that it's the same world. It definitely is. We opened the door with a key. Good, we're learning. Bottle of wine. Take that and that and that and that. And that. Ignore the rotting food. There's a way up there, but we're gonna just... I just wanna make sure I got everything in here. So there is... Something over here. Oops. Contains nothing. Oh! Die, rat! Packages... Wait, was there a thing? Hang on, where are you? Did it, did it live? I didn't get experience for that. Wait, it's not dead. There it is. Where'd you go? I will kill you, rat. I wish I could see it now. I lost it. There it is. Okay, good. Ha! 50 experience. I will take all the experience I can gather. All right, we're going to go upstairs. Don't freeze me. Hold, um, do I know you? How? What are you doing in my house? No, you don't know me. I got through those stinking cellars. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. I get in through those stinking cellars that smell of boiled cabbage. Lundler asked me 
to ask you that you unfreeze him. You see, he's getting rather cold. Boiled cabbage? Ah, the taste of- You're not an agent of Thelrion Hashnator, are you? I'll destroy you, creature of darkness. Where's that spell? No, no, no. Landalore, you know your elven friend, pointy ears? He needs your help. You've frozen him, and now he would like to be unfrozen. What's that smell? What? Landalore. Landalore? Where is Landalore? Speak up, stranger. I'll have you know that I control mighty magic and can kill with but a word. Is that boiled cabbage I smell? He's just outside. Please calm down a bit. Holy crap, he is Looney Tunes. <sighs> that was an experience. Thank you, stranger. I thought I was never going to get out of that prison. <sighs> My feet are still numb. Seven gods, my toes have gone blue. Let me rub them. Ah, oh, it hurts. The blood is returning. Hey, that's, that's better. Now what can I do for you, oh my benefactor? Uh, well, I'm gonna go scout around a bit. I'll return when I have some more questions for you, because I don't have any yet. That's gonna be the end of our first video. We're gonna continue on in the next one. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, especially for this game, as I don't know what I'm doing, that would be wonderful. And I would love to hear about them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. We will be doing some more Divine Divinity, or we will also be starting King of Dragon Pass, which is the other game of, that was requested, and we're going to be doing that one also at the same time, just for funsies. Take care, everyone, and I will see you next time.